Tony here. Welcome to another LEGO Hogwarts update. As promised, here is my last video for this year. Just in the nick of time, in the 11th hour, kind of literally, I managed to uh, actually sit down and record this video so I can show you what uh, I had promised you last time. Something very interesting. Let's get right to it because I am actually quite busy. I have quite a few things to do. Uh, nothing concerning Lego, so let's just get right to it. On and yeah, by the way, I actually bought the uh, Lego Hogwarts uh, Collector's Edition train, which uh, is still sitting here, kind of banished in the corner because I just have no space to put it currently, and uh, I'm just leaving it here for the time being. Uh, just a little quick side note regarding this because. Uh, maybe you'll be interested what i think about the set uh i actually got a really good price on it otherwise i wouldn't really buy it it was something that really disappointed me initially when it was announced but the price was really good and investment wise even after it is built i would assume i'll be able to get my money back at some point should i need that plus uh, it turns out it's actually quite better than i thought uh many people whined and complained about the tracking how tedious and monotonous it was but actually that was kind of fun i, I don't know why people complain about something that they need to do over and over again uh that is present in many if not most lego builds nowadays especially if something big so uh just put some music on and stop complaining <laughs> My opinion otherwise the set is um better than what i expected so overall i am satisfied anyway i don't, don't want to get into that too much let's talk about what's going on here now initially i was planning to do a lot of little things inside the castle in the great hall but uh, i remembered in the nick of time that i actually was uh mentioning in the last video that I was really hoping to show you something new and something kind of uh, probably unexpected and you were probably able to see it right now I have changed the texture of the whole uh, castle and the reason I have kind of left it made over here and here not well one of them is that probably I will not have enough space pieces to finish this whole site second I don't really have didn't really have the time <laughs> to do it and the third one is that I am not completely sure whether I like it so I decided instead of buying multiple parts I might, might not need uh, just to build like a big section but not everything so I can look at it so I can share it with you and so I can decide whether this is something I am interested in as it said in uh, one of in this movie that I will probably not I will not mention because you don't know it anyway so uh, this idea has been in my mind for quite some time uh, ever since my if not the first maybe one of the first videos that I had uh, people were talking about the texture that is uh, kind of simplistic the way it was and the way it is still um, most parts of the build but what I'm did say initially there was that it's when you're building in such a scale it's very difficult to kind of add detail mainly because it's very expensive and it just pains me when i have to spend so much money on uh, so many parts i mean it's just uh depressing i have so many other hobbies and stuff to do it's just I don't always want to spend hundreds of euros on uh, Lego every month. Plus, it would mean if you make the more complicated you make the texture, that means that you need to keep going that way throughout the whole castle. And it would mean that the in increase of uh, money and parts would dramatically multiply as you continue to build. However, uh, I've been thinking about this the last couple of months and I was testing different variations of how exactly to improve the texture because I didn't want to 
just add a third color, for example, or add something that resembles a uh, kind of damage here and there. I wanted to make it like really something special, yet at the same time, not really losing my mind over the money I'll be spending. So the idea usually when you try something like this, at least, at least this is how I think about it, is you want to add maybe between three or five or six different parts, but you want to have all those parts everywhere. So basically, if here we have masonry bricks in nougat, then we have one by one um, plates. Here and there we have one by one tiles, and here and there we have one by one uh, tiles with one uh, corner curved. And other than that, we have uh, these bricks over here, one by one with one uh, stood to the side, and the same version uh, in tan. With these in mind, it means that if we can only use these pieces, at some point we can maybe find somewhere where we can buy thousands of them or hundreds of them. So ideally, what I'm trying to say is that you don't want to pick too many pieces. You want to figure out, I'm going to use these three to five to six pieces, and with all of them, I'll be able to do the whole texture, no matter where I'm building. Now, naturally, with the one-on-one -on -one with the uh, studs that are in tan, we can have them in one by twos, one by fours, but obviously here the pillars are three studs wide, so one by four is out of the question. Now, one thing that I was thinking about that worried me is overlapping. So overlapping, what do I mean? Over here, for example, we have an angle, so 90 degrees angle where you need to actually not put anything here, or maybe I had, but it fell down, I don't know, kind of weird. Anyway, so um, I decided that in order to avoid this and kind of cover everything, I will need this one by one uh, brick with two studs. And what do I mean by that? I mean uh, this one over here. So here we got two studs to the side and on the other two sides we don't have anything. So that will help us to build it uh, the same texture over here in these spots here, which I've done here already. Now, what is the idea of this texture? Because uh, I wanted it to have some logical kind of reason behind it. And it's kind of simple. Uh, the idea is that the outside most texture is this here. And I didn't want it to be smooth because we've been going smooth all the way up till now. And it looks okay, but it just kind of makes it not very detailed, especially when you go in, into it and kind of zoom and look close, uh, close in. So I wanted to go like the opposite route and then the idea is that this here where the bricks are, where the masonry bricks are, is the most uh, inward kind of layer of the wall. So basically here we have the outer layer and here it is damaged or corroded or basically it's been falling. And this here, these pieces here, the tiles are kind of the transition between this layer and this layer. And I feel that this kind of makes a lot of sense and also it is not way too complicated. It also can be applied, it's applicable pretty much everywhere on the castle. Now, the only thing I'm kind of thinking about is like with these pieces here, but I will make it work. Probably we'll just hide it a little bit and use some more curves underneath if it really shows and it bothers me, but we'll see how exactly it will go. Other than that, it's pretty much fine everywhere, especially the angles here. So the idea is if I decide that I like this, uh, we will cover the whole outer section from this side and over here and it will look all like this. Now one other thing that I have done, you might be noticing, is that the windows are kind of 
different size. Now this is what the window size was before and this is what it is now. So what I've done is I've lowered here by one brick to leave a bit more space between the edge and the topmost highest side and the um, brown line here. And then I've raised it from here to here because uh, naturally the windows are not, they weren't, they're very problematic when it comes to this building, the great hall, just, I can never get them right. And I have been trying to kind of uh, improve on them. And this is a bit better, but it's still not best. Now, initially we should have these windows here and then underneath right here is where this window should be but I have just not because to be a lot of hassle to get down here have to work from below so if I decide that this is going to stay then we're going to move these windows we're going to remove them and we're going to move them over here they're going to be a bit bigger so we're going to have this window here that is a bit smaller than the original version and then we have this window moved upwards and here there will be a wall which would probably help me save some pieces because then we can hide most of this here it will be hidden also by the uh, flowers and the trees if there are any more and it will just conserve some pieces now this is fine as well because as you can see here, where this module is uh, neck against this wall, we have not used the texture at all. And it doesn't matter that it's not used because you will not be able to see it. So there is still a wall behind here, but the texture just ends here. Same with here, over here where it's overlapping. Underneath, it is the old, the old smooth texture. So, at some point where I can, when I can find transparent, uh, trans clear pieces, I'll be planning to replace the windows all over again and make them built with bricks. But when will that be? I have no idea. It's just so expensive. By rough calculations, I believe I've mentioned this before, if I'm to do this, the whole building alone, it will cost around 300 euros for the trans clear pieces alone. And that's just a big expense that I'm really not prepared emotionally even to uh, to spend at this time. But uh, step by step, if I decide this is fine, then we will work here to replace these uh, basic uh, Lego windows with something that is a bit more appealing. Another thing that has uh, I've been working on is this window here. Uh, because before I have mentioned it, even when I finished the previous version and I talked about it, you can go back to that video and see that I was not satisfied with the way the art here was made. And the main reason behind that was that we can't really replicate this angle over here because it's wider in no matter what kind of bricks or arches we use. So since we lowered it however a little bit i managed to um work with that a little bit better because now i shrunk it by um two bricks to this side and two bricks over here which is also a bit more accurate to what it actually is uh, in the source material and actually the arch here the angle is not even in the source material 100 percent uh identical so it was fine to make it like this and it actually it is a lot a lot better now i have not placed any windows here because again we have the problem of the uh spacing here having to be the same over here so all these towers need to be spaced evenly and then although here there is uh basically the, the spacing needs to be like this which means that the number of uh, studs is e is not even, it's an odd number, which means we can't use these because uh, the space here is, it was 11 and now four less means it's seven studs over here. So 
a custom window will need to be made. So for the time being, this will not be, I will not place anything here. It will just be a hole. But that should at least, uh, if not anything else, kind of urge me to make custom windows sooner rather than later. Now, uh, working on this was a, a bit of a hassle because I didn't want to take everything apart. So I kind of had to work from below a little bit, but it wasn't so um, like bad as it has been in previous cases. However, uh, it would require some fine tuning. When I have the time, I'll be able, I'll need to uh, take everything apart, all the modules and you know, the inside trays, the roof, all the towers, and kind of just stack the piece a little bit better. So nothing is really kind of uh, lifted too much or just the pieces to go down top of each other a little bit better. Uh, I might do that a few times, or maybe I should even wait for me to do the whole building out a layer and then to do that carefully uh, one time or maybe numerous times. Other than that, uh, I was really planning to add some really other small things, but it just turns out this is so time consuming over here to add this texture, even to build it, especially uh, for this layer here and the damage on the walls and the pillars to make sense and to continue gradually and for, for it not to be on the same section, for it to be a bit, a little bit smaller or bigger. Uh, for example, here you can see how it kind of goes through the pillar to uh, the space between the two pillars, same with here, and just to kind of make it a bit more variety. And I feel like this is looking, uh, it was a good decision. I like it. I mean, when you can see it side by side, the difference is tremendous. Now, will this uh, break my wallet at some point? Maybe, I don't know, but it just felt like it was a, it was worth the investment because uh, what I was initially planning to do was going to cost even more than this. And uh, this kind of gives the best result for the least amount of money if I can uh, structure it that way. So I feel uh, once it is all completed, it will be uh, very, very nice. Now, uh, obviously, we'll have to do the same with this building, the outer layer and the uh, courtyard outside layer here and uh, it will take some time to do all that but uh, again no rush whatsoever for me if it's fun and if it's worth it then uh, there is no hurry when it's the people keep asking when is this going to be done the progress is too slow well I'm sorry if it's too slow for you but for me at times even it is seems like it's too fast and it will be done when it's done. That's all I can say. I keep repeating it. I know some of you are probably tired of hearing that, but it's just the way it is. So next time, it all really depends on how uh, much time I have and what I would like to do. If uh, I don't really have all that, mu that much time, I will uh, add a, a f quite a few uh, details again, improvements on the nights, adding some minifigs, uh, that from people that uh, have been sending minifix to me to add to the castle representing them. It's always something that uh, makes me really happy that people want to participate in that kind of stuff. And uh, hopefully maybe even improve over here and continue the uh, little alleyway around the Grey Hole. But if I have more time, uh, I will continue adding more uh, layer to the outside walls, which uh, other than being expensive, is actually quite time consuming to do. Uh, all this took me about five hours to do uh, with breaks, probably a uh, few breaks. It's just it's so many things you need to take into account. Even when I kind of got the hang of it and didn't have to go back, it didn't really make mistakes. You still have to be careful. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to make it kind of sturdy as as much as the pieces allow, obviously, but 
So uh, it's just, it takes time. And I, me being an adult and having a lot of stuff to do in real life as well, it's just not always I can just sit down and not think about anything else and just build. But um, hopefully it will uh, continue to interest me because abandoning this project now because of boredom, it would make uh, very little sense and it would be a, quite a shame. But if I ever feel like I don't feel like doing this uh, for the time being, I'll just give it a, a rest for a little bit and I'll come back or maybe not, who knows. But for the time being, it's uh, quite uh, an interesting venture. So I'll keep going. Once again, uh, I think that's uh, about it. I would, uh, wouldn't like to keep you away from your near ears uh, celebrations if you're watching this as this is being released, not later. So uh, yeah, happy new year and we'll see each other very, very soon, 10 to 14 days as per usual. Once again, thank you for watching. If you have any input, you can always find me on YouTube and Instagram uh, and uh, have a look at the community section on the YouTube page where I try to post as often as possible. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your support and your comments and your feedback. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for watching and bye for now.